Welcome back. In this video, I will talk about creating an index in Elasticsearch with the Python client. I will start by explaining what an index is, how to create it, and what are the settings you can configure while creating it. An index is a collection of documents that share similar characteristics. Let's illustrate this with an example. Say that you have a lot of products and for each one you have a PDF document. In this PDF document, you can, you can have, for example, the name of that product, its price and the description, etc. Each document will be converted into a JSON object and stored in, for example, the product index. An index in Elasticsearch is comparable to a database in a relational database system, but it is optimized for storing and searching large volumes of textual, numeric, and structured data. In this image, I show you how to create the index. First, you need to connect to the cluster and then use this create method to create your index. This is very simple to do. Now, let's go to the code and show you how to do this. Okay, so here is a notebook that I have created for you. You can go to the description. You will find this on GitHub. There, I'll try to put all the notebooks that I will be showing you in these videos. So make sure to check that and download the notebooks if you need. First, you need to connect to Elasticsearch. If you try to run this, it, it might not work. Why? Because remember, in the previous video, which is the second video in this series, I showed you that you need to install Elasticsearch locally and we use Docker to do that. So you need to first run the image. So sudo docker start and here uh, the container is called Elasticsearch. So now it is running and now if I rerun this cell, uh, let's give it some time because yeah, it takes some time to start the cluster. So yeah, now you can see that we are connected to Elasticsearch. And here we see the same information as if we click on this link. So you can see that we have the same info that, that is showed in this um, website window. Okay, so here it says that we are running on Docker and the version of Elasticsearch that we are using is 8.15, which is the latest one. Great, so now let's see how to create an index. Um, so because I was testing, uh, the index might be in Elasticsearch, so I just I will just delete it and then create the index. So if I run this, so here in this output, you can see that it shows us that everything went well and we were able to create the index. Now let's go back to the slides. When we want to create an index, we have some settings that we can tweak. For example, here I will be talking about just the number of charts and the number of replicas. What are they and what do they do? Well, let's say that you have your product index. If you specify that the number of charts should be equal to two, then Elasticsearch will try to split each document into two parts. So here after the charting process, you can see that the product index contains six parts instead of just three full documents. But don't worry, when you make a query to retrieve the data, Elasticsearch knows how to reconstruct the documents to find the information you need. To change the number of shards in the index, it's simple. Just add this key to the settings dictionary. And here I specify three. So this means that we will split the documents into three shards. Now let's move to the number of replicas. A replica is a copy of the data. Let's take our sharded index because here I specified the number of replicas as one. This means that we will duplicate this fragmented index just once. Why we do this? Well, it's simple. When you duplicate the data, you improve system resilience. Let's say for example, that the first index shuts down. What will happen? If you don't have, if you did not duplicate the data, then the whole system will fall down. So in this case, you can quickly switch to the duplicated index and use it. 
Also, replicas enable parallel search and retrieval operations, so it makes searching very quick. Again, to change the number of replicas, it's so simple, you just add this key, and here I specify two, which means that I will duplicate the data twice. Let's go back to the code and let's continue. So here I have um, this section, and here you can read about what are shards and what are replicas if you want. But here you see that I can specify the number of shards to be 3 and the number of replicas to be 2. So again, I will delete the previously created index and create this new one. And again, I get this response, which means that everything was created successfully. I hope that you now know how to create indices and hopefully understand what happens under the hood. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, then please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and wait for the upcoming videos. See you next time.